Hello everybody and welcome to another episode Look, of Mixed well, Mo's. It's a bit cold in the old shed, I've just put the fire on. But um, we have just got in here, we're not going to be in it long today. I know, it is cold. <laughs> so today we're going to be working on um, on my van. The van has run out of MOT and so did Mrs P's. Mrs, Mrs P's has now um, been done, that was done yesterday. Um, our MOT was out by a considerable amount of time actually and we've been running around with no MOT on both vehicles. We have just missed it. So Mrs P's went through and it, it failed on a couple of lights which, which I didn't have time to do. I wanted to just get it MOT and get it done. Um, a couple of lights and a um, anti-roll bar link. That's all it was that failed on. And it, with the MOT it came at around about 140, 150 quid. So happy with that. However, my van is out of MOT, it's now sworn off the road, it's on the driveway, so it's off the road, as we found out. And um, mine should go straight through pretty much, apart from the seat belt is stuck in the back. Um, it won't go back in, so I need to have a look at that. And that's what we're going to be doing today, looking at this stuck seat belt. But before we do, I've got a few packages. Um, these have already been opened because we're a little bit late. Um, you you've already opened this one. Um, Tim Palmer has sent this little package over to... <laughs> over to us and inside here um, is two kinder eggs for you now he's already had one of the bigger kinder Sweet. egg style sweets which you've already eaten yes you've already, you've already eaten that one um, it also sent me over a selection of um, two seconds I'll hold them uh, primer bulbs oh. for two stroke um, I'll, hold I'll, hold, I'll put them in my little tub for two stroke primers so they live over here in there I'll put them in my pocket for now and you have them later on can't you and he sent a nice little card also with that. Are we doing? Hang on. There's a Christmas card. Quite nice. Okay. And the Christmas card says. Um, happy Christmas for shopping. To Mick, Mrs. P, and family. Uh, happy Christmas, Happy New Year. Um, hope you have a great time from Tim and family. So thank you very much for that, Tim. Much appreciated. You too, Tim. My battery is being zonked because it's so cold. Also, Riley had a little tiny envelope. Uh, with another package it came um, it said don't open to Christmas and it's um, another yeah good boy another sticker from snobby scrap picker which I have behind me and also a dusty blonde sticker which I also have behind yeah. me so um, these can go somewhere in maybe in Riley's room he might appreciate that and also Riley um, snobby and dusty left you five pounds okay. how cool is that so you've got five pounds which you can then go and buy some more kinder eggs with how cool is that? Do so what do you say? What do you say to Snobby and Dusty? It's a shorty but if we're do it with my Five pounds, fantastic. It's one more. We've got one more. Daddy's gonna get his knife for this one. I do it. Uh, where's Daddy's knife gone? I'd a I'd a an absolute selection of knives here. Oh, it's, um, here it is. Got it here. Got it here. Come sit in. So I've got another um another parcel which turned up i shan't okay. show the address because it's okay. got my address on the front of it but uh, this parcel is from roy's a boy now roy yeah, rang me up just you, just the other day and i'd asked if um the parcel had in fact turned up before christmas and it hadn't um because of the post was so delayed i know i'm waiting on a few parcels from my wish list that people have sent over apparently but keep saying it hasn't arrived yet and uh, it's not so, I'm just trying to get into it first, buddy. Give me two seconds just to try and get into it because it is a bit uh, a bit sticky. And knives are sharp. Knives are sharp. Bear with me. Let me just help you out with it because it is a bit it is a bit dynamic. This one. There you go. Right. Now let's buy that out and let's open, make sure you open it up open it up the right way round, which is going to be in here. Yeah, hey. Uh, it's got some Christmas lights on the front of a box. We don't know what's in here yet. Yes, she got a. Uh, I'll get the finger in there. That's it, that's better. Right, now we're away. Right, that's yours. I do myself? Yeah, you do all by yourself. Let me come down a bit so they can see what's going on. There we go. Uh -huh. That's it. Right, pull it out. We've got, we've just got a present. <laughs> it's a Christmas present. Go on in. Yes, it's from Santa. No, it's from Roy. Not from Santa. So careful with it. You do it, undo it gently. Undo it gently. There you go. A pressure! And it says, to Riley boy, um, from Roy's a boy and Dizzy die. How lovely is that? So yeah, it's, it's that paper that you can't tear, so you're not gonna cope with that very well. So daddy just give you a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a start in hand with it, because I can't even get into it. Do, 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 do. There you go, now you get into there. Give that a go. Can you manage it? That's it. Be careful. 
try this piece here, look, over here, then. Attack it, attack it from this side, that's it. <laughs> you got a big egg. Oh my word, it's sitting. So Riley Boy got himself a nice big Kinder Egg, and these are the ones that are bigger for these, but they're exactly the same um, meat and what have you, uh, meat, um, you chocolate boy, in there. Boy. And Roy's, Roy's a boy, and Dizzy Dye loves Riley Boy low. Eat you, boy, boy, Dizzy you I my house today. He says, thank you very much. You're his best heroes ever. He loves you very much. Are you coming over to our house today? So thank you very much to uh, Roy, Dizzy Dye, Snobby Dusty and Tim. More? Uh, that's it, mate. That's all we've presents. That's it. That's all of them. You've had all your gifts. Let me put Daddy, my knife back. What would you want? Uh, that's for that is for Roy. Daddy, that, that, that? Listening. That is for Roy. Sitting, sitting. Daddy. Um, I've got to post some bits off to Roy. Actually, funnily enough, um, he I've got he's got a car broke. He wants off of me. So Daddy. anyway, that's all the presents and parcels. Thank you very much for that. Don't forget our Amazon wish list is down below if you want to uh, purchase anything for myself or Riley Boy for our channel. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the old bell, give us a old thumbs up on your way through. That'd be much appreciated. So anyway, we need to, not doing lawn mower, we're doing Danny's van today. Um, so let's get down and dirty and let's check out my Astra van stuck seatbelt. Okay. You can come. Okay, so this is the issue we got. This is my old, my old wagon. It's a um, 2012 Vauxhall Astra uh, van five seater with drop down seats, so you can get in the back of it and use it as a van. And that's generally what it is used for, unless I have Riley Boy and pick the kids up, whatever. So I'm gonna drop the seats down, and then I'll show you what the issue is, is with this seat belt just here. Okay, so the light is not fantastic. I'm gonna put another light in here to try and help. But the issue I've got is, is that this seat belt cover. Uh, or seatbelt itself is stuck out and it won't do anything other than stay out so it's an MOT failure. So the first thing to do is to remove some of this panelling. There's about five or six bolts to, to remove and then that should then release this this cover and then we can get a better look as to see what's going on. Well I've removed uh, one screw here, one here, one over here, one up the top Taking these two out, which is a bit of ply board. So hopefully now the bulk of that should at least pop out so I can get behind to see what's going on with regards to um, this itself. I might have to move this, this entire ply board, I think, because there's a bit of a lip there. It doesn't want to come all the way out. It's loose. And it's still catching. So I'm going to remove this entire ply board just so I've got a, a total view. It's only about four or five screws and uh, take that out. And in addition to removing this ply board, I'm going to undo this uh, this bolt here, which I think is about a 17 mil, which will take the seat belt mount off as well. So I'll get that undone, get this ply board removed, and then hopefully this piece of plastic should then remove itself. Okay, so that's the ply board now removed. So now hopefully this cover, being careful of this light just here, uh, should now drift apart just enough. So I can get access to to this back. I don't want to turn that light out, so there'll be a connection on there which I have to remove before any further. And then all this entire section should remove out. Um, quite straightforward. Just watch for any any clips or any wires. That's what you've got to do. Okay, that covers now off, and there's just one plug there to remove off of the uh, interior light. Not a problem. And just make sure you retain all the clips when they come off. So here's the seat belt. As I mentioned, the coupling. As you can see, it's it's stuck solid. So I'm going to remove that out um, just to see, get a better visual look at it and to see if the seatbelt is twisted or anything along those lines and then hopefully we can diagnose what's going on with it. To remove it, all you've got to do is just undo this one bolt and that will release the seatbelt coupling uh, off, of the, off of the van. So I'll put you guys down here. Hopefully you can see what's going on. Yeah. Quite a feral sized bolt, and then the seat belt itself will come out. Doesn't look to be twisted at all, but it is stuck in there. So, I have a suspicion there's a ball bearing inside which sometimes get a bit, uh, a bit clogged up. 
and doesn't allow the seat belt to attract. I would have liked to get this off and put it in the shed, <coughs> but um, well, it's a bit warmer to take it apart. So yeah. I might take it apart from the, um, the bottom part just here, just down here, um, which again will be enough, just another, another bolt to remove that. And then take it down to the shed, and then that way we'll be able to have a quick look into the side, uh, take these sides off to make sure it's, it's doing what it should be doing, and uh, give a clean up and what have you. So I'll disconnect the seat belt from this side. Um, should just be one bolt, and um, we'll go down in the shed where the heating is, and we'll have a look inside it. Okay, so actually I'm going to do it here. Um, I've got the screwdriver here as well, flat-headed screwdriver. Now inside one of these sides, there'll be a cog a winding mechanism and the other side would be a ball bearing and it's a ball bearing I want to get at which I'm guessing is going to be this one here so you should be able to literally just undo these little tiny clips one by one very gently and it should start to tease up um, the seat belt cover but don't go mad because you'll because you'll uh, you'll snap it. Shout. Yeah, we don't want to snap it. Shout, shout, shout. And sod's law is every time you uh you get one unclipped, the other one will uh want to go back. And the main reason that these do actually fail is just dirt, dirt and dust. There you go, See, that's, just, uh, that's just now rotated itself back. So I'm going to take that off, <coughs> and there's a the ball bearing, as we can see. And now, literally, just I've managed just to free that off. That now is working as it should do, and it will attract all the way fully. Now, you have to make sure that these are level. If they're not level, then the um, the ball bearing won't uh, it won't work. But as you can see, I don't know if you can get in there, there is just a little tiny bit of dust and crud just in there, just underneath that ball bearing. So I'm gonna try and retract the ball bearing out. <coughs> try and gently take off this um, this uh, ball bearing housing, just so I can get this um, ball bearing a bit cleaner. And when you level it out you should find that it will actually rotate itself fully and work. As soon as you tip it off centre, it will lock. You see? And there you go. So it, it does work, but as I say, the, the biggest reason is, is that this ball bearing just gets covered in crud. That's the reason why they fail. So I'm going to take that out and uh, give it a good clean up inside here. It's just a little bit layer of dust and that, that is the reason why it's actually failed, believe it or not. Um, but as you can see, it's now working as it should do. So everything's working on the seat belt, but as soon as that ball bearing gets a little tiny bit of crud in there, like there, it's not gonna work and, that, and that's level. So I need to get all that dirt out and then uh, put this back at a level where it's actually gonna, gonna do its job. Okay, so a bit of cleaning and uh, I want to come back to you, it'll all be done. Okay, that's now had a good a good WD-40 bath. And uh, now, the seat belt now runs fully, and as soon as you tip it off center, it'll catch. You can see, put it straight, and it will run eventually, if you find it, find it, find the straight level path. It's gonna be about there somewhere. There you go. It's got to be exactly straight, otherwise, it, otherwise it, won't, it won't run up. So it's got to go onto a seat belt on a level, on a level peg. All it is is that little tiny ball bearing there. It's a bit wet in the moment, so it's, it's probably catching. So I'll wait for that to dry. But as soon as that, that ball bearing tips over, it will then allow this to run, just like that. You see? Tip it off center and it catches. Okay, so we now know that, that seat belt is actually working and doing exactly what it should do. And if you jolt, if you break suddenly as well, it should catch. 
which is what seatbelt should do. So that's now working. I'll let that dry off and um, I'll put a, a clamp or something on here so I can actually um, remove the seat belt uh, fully and then I can fit it, otherwise it's not gonna allow me to do so. So there you go, that's how you fix one of those. I'll just fit it back and then we'll, we'll test it, make sure it's all working as it is, but I say it is still wet at the moment, so um, once it's dried out of touch, um, it should be a lot better. Okay, so that's now the seat belt now fitted. There's a little collar on the back you need to uh, put on as well, which is no biggie. As you see, the seat belt now uh, retracts as it should do, uh, extends as it should do, and also locks if you were to hit a, if you were to have a crash or something like that. So that's all done. Then we put it back together and then we test it out at the end. Right, and there's it all put back together. I've got a couple more screws just to pull in. I need to get a new bit of ply board in here really just for this, but uh, it's quite poorly designed. So that needs to screw them back up. There's a little rider board. Hi. How you doing, buddy? And there's a seat belt now, fully working. Okay. It wasn't before. Um, okay. And when you, uh, as I say, when you brake hard, it'll lock off. So that's how you repair okay. a seat belt. Very simple, very quick, very easy. Okay, so that's how you fix a seat belt in a car, and they're all pretty much standard. Um, they all have that little tiny ball bearing, pretty much. A ball. A little tiny ball. Yeah, a little, tiny, ball? A little tiny metal ball. Um, and a little bit of dust can get underneath them, tip them off centre, and they're, right. they're, they're so um, sure. they're so fine tuned. Um, they're, they're designed to be that way. Fine tuned. <laughs> um, sometimes they get knocked, and um, it just knocks the ball bearing off centre, and all of that sort of stuff can affect the use of it. So, anyway, the van is now out of MOT, so it'll be off the road. Um, it's had four new tyres on it yesterday. I put them on there when I found out the MOT was lapsed and the seat belt, I knew it wouldn't pass with a seat belt, so I thought I'd do it myself and save myself sort of 50 to 70 pounds, that's what roughly it would, would cost for someone to fix that. So that's all done, um, after New Year, put it in for MOT and the old mower, mower van Happy will be New up. Year. Happy New Year. And the old mower van will be up and running very, very soon. Well, I need it to, because I need to get some, get some lawn mowers in the back. You are. So thank you very much for everybody that has sent Riley Boy some little gifts, Kinder Eggs and the Primer Bulbs and the cards and the stickers and the money. Thank you very much indeed. We look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Mixed Mowers, but don't forget to hit the old subscribe button, whack the old bell, pop. give it a thumbs up pop, or pop, thumbs pop, down, pop, pop. and a comment, positive or negative, we don't really mind. But until next time, people, don't forget, Take it easy. Tickle, tickle.